We're here at the uh, entrance to the Babylon train yard, uh, which is going to be the future home of the Babylon train wash. So we're building the train wash right on the lead track into the Babylon yard. We're doing it for uh, 66 weekends. During the week, we would uh, actually impact greatly the, uh, the train movements in and out of the yard schedule-wise. This project is being funded by federal economic stimulus money, uh, more specifically the ARA projects, which means American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. The requirement for the ARA funding was a project had to be shovel ready, also offering green technology. There's several differences between the new wash that's being built and the one that was here. Uh, first of all, the old one was built in the 60s. It uh, was, had a man operator, a manned operator on site to initiate all the processes for cleaning. It didn't use any recycled water. This wash is totally computer controlled, totally automated. It doesn't require an on-site operator. Basically, the process here will be identical to that at Ronkonkoma. One, one of the good benefits of the Babylon Wash, the new Babylon Wash as Ronkonkoma, uh, is maintenance-wise, there is a graphic display located not only here, but back in Hillside, where it's, which is manned 24-7. It's intranet connected, so we can see real-time data as far as the equipment operating, the trains washing. So if there is a failure, we have some remote control capabilities to reset equipment, and we don't always have to send a crew out to respond to alarms. The big cost savings for, for maintenance, obviously. What we have is a graphic display which shows uh, the operation of all equipment in the wash when it's being, uh, when the train is going through. So as each piece of equipment is energized, the graphic display will show it turning green. If it happens to fail, if there's an alarm on a piece of equipment, it'll turn red. So the sequence is soap arch, brush arch, high pressure rinse, another uh, rinse, regular pressure, and then a fresh water rinse. And then at the very end, we have uh, air curtains, air knives, which strip as much water as possible off the train. In all, about 70% of the water used in each wash cycle will be recycled and used again. In fact, the new wash will have so many built-in features designed specifically to ensure that it will actually be easy being green. The train wash has incorporated many green technologies. On the outside, there's solar panels uh, that we're placing to do all the auxiliary power for the uh, train wash equipment building. Uh, we're doing a stormwater management collection system, uh, which is an underground infiltration system that we collect all the runoff from the, uh, the roofs of both structures. On the inside, we have a water quality uh, collecting the, uh, the rain, collecting the wash water, recycling it, and reason, using that back as gray water during the process of the uh, pre-rinsing. Uh, for the building itself, we want to reuse like 50% of uh, recycled steel. This uh, site is located uh, next to a creek. We have a stormwater pollution prevention plan that's been developed during the uh, beginning of the project. It's been reviewed by the DEC. We're also very conscious of any of the water that leaves the train wash, any of the dr drippings that are on the train. Uh, we put in a uh, drip pan collection system right up on the train tracks to collect any of that water and divert it away from the, the stream. Uh, the advantage of having a train wash right at the entrance to a yard is it gives the capability of washing the trains as it enters the yard and when it leaves it'll be a nice clean train heading on its uh, designated routes.